Colombian bowl. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just press all of our beef into a cold saute pan. Turn it up on medium high and start cooking it. In the meantime, we're going to add some vi balsamic vinegar and some good olive oil, both good quality, in the bottom of the bowl. If we were going to serve this to people, we would just leave it like this. But I wanted to show you that that little bit coats all of the leaves and they can be spinach or kale or whatever you want. Now look at all the fat that has come out of that meat. We are going to get rid of it and there's still going to be a little bit in the beef, but don't worry, it's just going to be a little. Now we discard all this fat and we are going to season our meat with some paprika and cumin. Then we're going to add some coconut aminos. If you don't have coconut aminos, you can use soy sauce. Coconut aminos are gluten-free. They have a little less salt than soy sauce. So just taste it before adding salt and pepper at the end. Now we break up all those pieces and let it cook for about two to three minutes and we're done. Season it and we're going to create our beautiful bowl with Colombian food. This is our meat, our rice, and we are going to cook our plantains in a panini grill. That means no frying at home, no smell, no fat. Here we go. We put on our rice and beef some sun-dried tomatoes. Remember, each half is half of a tomato. Now, here come our plantains. This is the delicious bowl with some toasted almonds. Beautiful and super healthy. Enjoy, Chef Pachi.